Hello everybody, this is MD Starcraft. The MD does not mean I have a degree in gaming. It stands for Maryland, which is the state where I live. And following up on my last series between Heypro and Hasu, today I have a series between ATN Dark Force and MTW Dim Muslim. Dim Muslim is going to be playing as the tealish white Terran on the map Metalopolis, and ATN Dark Force is going to be playing as the Red Zerg. Uh, Dim Muslim is spawning at the top. And Dark Force is spawning at the bottom. So we're going to have Zerg vs. Terran on Metalopolis. Now, traditionally, there's a very Zerg favorite map, especially with these spawning positions. And I just wanted to clarify that this game was played before the patch, so the Terran hadn't been nerfed yet. So battle cruisers and siege tanks were still great, along with bunkers and reapers, who all got a bit nerfed for the Terran. Zerg really didn't get anything. So it looks like we are gonna have a pretty standard game coming out, no kind of cheese or anything like that. Falling in with supply depot. Guess he's not worried about a Baneling bust because Baneling's bust right through supply depots. Anywho, it's going to be very standard, very slow opening. Uh, do note that Dark Force is not getting his gas on 13, is he? Uh, oh, he's getting his gas on 14. So it looks like we're going to have fast speed things. Maybe he's going to take advantage of this Baneling bust and just go right through the door. Uh, he has seen that the Muslim is not over here. The Muslim, a very good Terran player. Dark Force, I've cast a few of his games. The Muslims, I think I've only cast one of his games. And this series is going to be a three-game series, or at least I have three games of it. I don't know if there are more games played or anything or not. Uh, so I'll be casting those uh, very shortly. And I realized with my last series that it got up kind of slow, uh, because after I casted them, some stuff happened and whatnot, and I wasn't able to get them up as quickly as I would like to. But hopefully that will change with this series. This is... Hopefully gets up fast. We do have the Muslim getting his racks and his refinery done. Probably getting to get an orbital command like every single Terran in the world does. Getting it on 16. He's scouting around. Oop, whoopsies. Sorry about that. He's scouting around with his little SCV. And we have overlords coming. It's very interesting. Dark Force has not sent a drone scout out yet, though, so he does not know where the Muslim is. Normally you see a Zerg send a drone scout if their overlord does not get to the specified location of the opponent's base and we do have this SCV finally going to make his way over here going to realize that the Zerg is on cross position which definitely favors the Zerg for expanding they can take this whole kind of ring of the map this crescent this right angle this it's not really a right angle because this is kind of inward but anywho uh, SCV going to see it and run away because these Zerglings are going to chase him down get him Zerglings uh, second wars. And this drone going to also chase him down. Or is this drone going to expand? Oh, yes, it looks like we have Dark Force getting a few Zerglings out and Zergling speed. Now he's going to expand. We do have a factory going up for the Muslim, so probably going to put some Hellion pressure on. He has a few Marines out, two Blarids ramp. He's getting another refinery too, though, so probably going to see some kind of teching mech play. Not going to see M&M, which is very common uh, in Zerg vs. Terran for some reason. I personally don't play with it, but whatever. This Zergling, no! Zergling goes splat. This Marine's so awesome. First kill of the match. Oh, yeah. Total baller marine. Anywho, we just have very, 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 very standard play going down here. Uh, fast speedlings and um, fast factory. So you're probably not going to see that uh, interesting of an early game here. Probably just macro for both players. We do have a starport going down, so we have the good old-fashioned Baractor port build up in here, up in here, people. Uh, Hellion coming out, so maybe he's going to do this five uh, marine Hellion push, which normally you only see that used against other Terran. Uh, but not that not that often against Zerg, but oh, this Zergling, he's so cool. He has his wings, and he's going to try to knock down this. Got six or seven hits off. Hatchery is almost done for Dark Force. I just, uh, natural. Notice he stopped his guys harvesting gas for the time being, putting guys back in there now. Very mineral heavy. Wow, that's a lot of minerals. He almost has enough to expand again. This is Zergling. Oh, I think his days are numbered as this push is coming out now. Starport is done. We have another starport going up. Oh, we're going to see some kind of banshee harass. This is very bad for Dark Force. He's just started gathering gas again. He's not going to have a layer near in time to stop these banshees. We'd like to see him throw down... Uh, we'd like to see him scout this first and then throw down uh, Evo Chamber so he can get some spore crawlers up, but he's not going to be ready for this. It's probably going to be double banshee attack. Do we have a banshee coming out? A lot of gas saved up. Yes, we do. Uh, getting very laggy, by the way, too, but that's just my failing computer. The Zergling's still going to knock this down. Uh, Marine probably going to shoot the Zergling away. Very, very laggy. And anyway, we do have a little push coming down here. Hellion's just going to burn away the Queen. Not going to do too much damage to the Queen. Trying to get in behind. Going to get one drone. Yes, they did get one drone, but these Queens are going to come in. Do some damage, but now the Marines are down. Are they going to be able to run by the Spine Crawler? Yes, they do. They are on the ramp now, which does favor the Marines at positioning-wise. Hellion's just roasting away at the Queen's... Uh, 
Are they going to take down these Marines? One Marine goes down. Another Marine's probably going to go down. Roaches are out now. Good call by Dark Force getting those Roaches. Looks like these Roaches are going to limit the effectiveness, but these Hellions are still in there burning several drones. This Hellion is five. This Hellion is two kills. Very nice harass here from the Muslim. And he is getting one Banshee out on the way, too. So he's going to continue the uh, constant Terran harass. He's getting cloaked, too. Dark Force still not getting a layer or anything to get anti-air. But he does still have one queen up though. Did he lose his other queen? If he lost his other queen, that could be crucial because you need two queens to kill a banshee. And the first banshee is not done yet. We do have another banshee coming down and an expansion uh, for the Muslim. And another hatchery going down for Dark Force. Oh no, that's the lair. Ah, I'm such a noob. He does have a few roaches though. I'm not going to probably try to push out with them even though the Muslim is getting expansion. We'd like to see an overlord sack in here, especially around this time. So has got to figure that the Muslim's attacking into something or other. Instead of just sending out these Zerglings. Anywho, more Jordans coming out for Dark Force. Continuing to macro up, getting another Queen. That Queen might just save him when the Banshees come. Unless, of course, Cloak finishes. Cloak is halfway down. Two Banshees coming out. Though. Two Banshees can easily take down two Queens unless they have some transfusions up. Uh, this Queen's not even... Where's the Queen? This Queen canceled. No, the Queen is out. Uh, neither Queen is enough for Transfuse. The Transfuse takes 50 energy. In comparison to the other moves, which just take 25. And it looks like these Banshees are going to be very hard for Dark Force to deal with since he only has two things that can shoot air, and neither of them are that effective. Banshees are going to come in, shoot once or twice at the Roaches. These, this Queen probably going to get picked off. Does that enough Transfuse now, but it does go down. So one Queen down, the other Queen trying to desperately run away. These Banshees are going to come in here, pick off some drones. Queen trying to microwave, shoot down this Banshee. Not, looks like it's going to be that effective. Banshees do have a cloak now, though, so uh, the Muslim just has complete and total reign over the Zerg base. We do have an Evo Chamber going down with another Queen popping out. No anti-air yet, though. Uh, no Overseer yet for this cloak, and it looks like these Banshees are going to be able to take this Evo Chamber down before it uh, finishes, and there are going to be that many uh, Sport Crawlers in. Evo Chamber is done. Are there going to be any Sport Crawlers thrown up right away? Need some Sport Crawlers? No, it looks like the Evo Chamber is going to go down. This is very bad looking for Dark Force right now. These Banshees just absolutely destroying them. Hydra's then trying to go down. There are four Banshees here, all with the Queen's desperately trying to kill. One Banshee goes down. Uh, Hydra's den is up now, though. Uh, Dark Force does have enough to pump out two Hydra's. He is getting another Evo Chamber, but there are five Banshees here now. Does not look like Dark Force will be able to recover from this really good uh, Terran Harass with Hellion Marine, and then into Cloak Banshees. And uh, the Muslim... Very nice play here, good harass, did catch Dark Force off guard uh, without that much anti-air. They really don't get that much anti-air early in the game, and a lot of them fall these kind of banshee harasses and whatnot. Queen's still coming out, gonna try to shoot down these. Uh, two Queens out now at the moment, some of these banshees have a lot of health. And up the Cloak's up again. There is an Overseer out there, so Cloak's not that good, but there's just not enough going down. And Dark, and Dark Force Rage just leaves the game. So a very short game there, but like I said, this is part of a series, so I figured I had to cast all the games. Uh, hopefully, since these games are so short, I'll be able to load them up really quickly. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, uh, do not say anything that inappropriate in the comments, and by rate, I mean rate me good so I get more views, because right now I think I've got like three views per video on YouTube or something, and who, I'm MD Stargraph, and I am out.